parenting program you have, they will follow it as the Holy Spirit directs us. Amen. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll be us in the next five minutes in prayer. Let's clap with Jesus for Minister Michael as he come forward. Please clap with Jesus. Before you clap, before you clap with Jesus, the Lord will come forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Five minutes. He said, Hallelujah. Obedient is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Amen. So, let's see what we do in five minutes. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. All the time. And all the time. The Lord is good. I just want to bless God for every one of us that are here. It's a privilege to stand in front of you. Amen. Amen. And that privilege I take not for granted. The Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. We just want to lift up our hands. And we're going to call upon God in the few minutes that we have. Hallelujah. Amen. Hebrews 4 16, which is the scripture, it said, Let us not therefore come to the throne of grace with boldness. Hallelujah. Amen. When a child is approaching the father is different from when his servant is approaching the master. Hallelujah. Amen. The two different things. So we are therefore sons and daughters of the Almighty God. Amen. And we approach him with boldness. Oh, yes. Meaning that we can ask of him anything and he will give to us. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 You are bigger than all people say. Jehovah, you are bigger than all people say. You are bigger than all my problems. Jehovah, you are bigger than all people say. You are bigger than all people say. Jehovah, you are bigger than all people say. Some say you are good. I know you are kind. You are bigger than all people say. Some say you are good. I know you are kind. You are bigger than all people say. I want to open your mind one more time. Just say, Lord, you are great. You are great. You are great. You are great. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are mighty. You are faithful. You are faithful. That is why I'm appreciating. That is why I'm blessing you for all. 
give him an eye. Lord, by reason of your mercy, by reason of the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, the blood that speak better than the land of heaven and land of animals, say, Lord, let your grace continue to speak to me from this moment onward. Let your grace open doors for me. Let your grace, oh God, lead me to places. See it thou a man diligent in his work. He shall stand before kings. He shall stand before prince. The thing that makes you stand before king is the grace of God. And I want to know, pray, man, and say, Lord, yes. let your grace begin. Mother 
evangelist will go. She'll be deleting us in the next three and a half to five minutes, praise, or you know, whatever as God leads us. Amen. Amen. We are putting on the minute short, short. In the next five minutes, please. Let's put our hand together for Jesus as minister, prophetess, to go come for the Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. My God, is thank God for that. Why you're sitting down. Woo. Hallelujah. I'm just going to be here for five minutes. Thank you, Jesus. Please, let's, let's just be in spirit. Let the Lord direct us. It's only between your meeting where two people or three people gather. It's there. All of you, There is so many things happening in this world right now. Mm. There is so many stuff 
nothing going around right now. But our children, they're going out. It's not by our power or by our mind. It's not that we are telling what you are wrong. It's not that we are in your own with your children. But it's only for all to be fair to our land. It's only for all to be fair to our land. It's only for all to be fair to our land. The little time we have, the little time you have, the little time I have, spend it with God. The more you have time for God, God is going to have time for you. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your friend is someone beside you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Like Mr. Adedoku now, Mrs. Adedoku. That is our own friend. Amen. Amen. The person beside you is your friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to speak prophetically to the life of that person. Oh, Lua, there is something this person did in his own life. God, by your amazing grace, release it to his own family. Shall we pray for ourselves in the name of Jesus? Open yourself, open your mouth, open your heart. Pray for that person. Prophesy. Decree and declare. That in the name of Jesus, the person I am holding on my right hand, in case you are watching or joining us on the media, both on YouTube and Facebook, someone beside you, even if there's someone beside you there, you are the only one in that room. Pray for your life, pray for your family member. Hold the hand of your family member. Hold your executive and your and, uh, sickness member. Open your mouth and pray for them. The Lord has a particular thing in your life. Jesus' name. Amen. Is there another person here tonight 
It might have been a long time you have the testimony that God has done, the kind of thing that you can remember that only God will do this in my life. And this is the opportunity for you to return the glory back to God. Hallelujah. You may not be a member of the Church of God Winners Camp, but you can remember something in your life that God has done it now. Okay, let's put our hands for Jesus. Sister Chin, 
should be ministry. And after that, we are set to hear the word over the few minutes we have before us. And then we move on, we move on like that. And later, we have to invite our mama, Dr. Chi, Mrs. Abodeni, Esabon, Dr. Esabon Worldwide, to give us a speech later. We will be following one by one. Praise God. We shall be blessed in Jesus' name. Please, let's welcome Sister Chiri under the two minutes and a half. Two minutes and a half. Amen. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. Two minutes have got. So, um, can we all rise up, please? Thank you. Do we all believe that Jesus is the pillar of our lives? Amen. 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 You know, sometimes we go through certain things in life and we wonder and we think. Where is really God, you know? But we know that God is there. So I'm just going to minister a little song for you. Say, He is the pin. Jesus is the pin of our lives. Mm. You are the pin that oh. holds my life. Centurion man did what? He said, speak a simple word. And my son will walk, be made whole. He was not waiting for many words. Not from Genesis to Revelation. No. And Jesus spoke the word. And there was a great deliverance. So within the minute that God started on ministry, let our spirit body, soul, be at a lot and to receive from God. And the mighty God will perfect his word in our life in Jesus' name. I have the great privilege and honor tonight to welcome my father the Lord, Pastor and Reverend Thomas Alam from the Open Assembly Ministry. You are welcome, sir. Put your hands together with Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. What a privilege to come to the presence of the Lord. Mm. Mm. In the church of God, when has come. 
This is truly the winner's cup. Mm -hmm. I am grateful to God that God has granted you that amazing grace Amen. to be able to title the sixth convention this year as Amazing Grace. This is just a special grace from heaven for you. And I'm grateful to God that God who has honored you will honor the word that is in your mouth, that is in your ministry, that is in your life, in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's a great honor that you have honored me this way, being able to uh, stay by me to continually minister. And Amen. You see, when we put order in the spiritual realm, it works. Mm. Uh, it's a great privilege to be on this altar and to say that God has a plan for your life. And that plan, Pastor Kolabi, will be fulfilled in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Whatever plan Satan has against you is turned around for good in Jesus' name. Amen. You and your family and the ministry God has committed into your hand will always succeed. Amen. That's why it's just, it's just not an ordinary way for the way God has brought all the food that are here. Mm. Today is a special arrangement of God. Oh, yes. And it will be perfected in the name of Jesus. Amen. So thank you for still honoring me as your spiritual father. And thank God that God has made us to meet and uh, he will continue to bless your life more and more. Amen. He, you will not see anything yet. It's just the beginning of great things. And I want to thank God for all the honorable people that are present. Mm. The Lord will continually honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's not a man you have honored. You have honored the word of the Lord to come, and you have come, and the Lord will continually bless you more and more Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. As I sat there enjoying God's presence, the ministration is already powerful because God has arranged it all. And as I sat down there, I received it. So she will go there and represent me over there. So that's why she's not here. But apology from her. But I really want to thank the Lord that God has perfected what He was going to do here tonight. Amen. Because Evangelist David just said, by the grace of God, was asked to follow me and he said, I'm coming. Mm. And the Lord brought him here. That's Evangelist David, actually from Hope Assembly Ministry. I thank God for his life. And when I'm rounding up, I'm going to mention the things that God has already told me here. And that will fulfill before we leave this place. Amen. Because the people of God are not re re going back the same in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank God that as I sat here to confirm that God wanted me to be here, my own fairy brother, blood brother, Pastor Enoch, and I just showed up. <laughs> and he came with his wife and children. So I really thank God. When I saw him, I said, God, you are doing something. You didn't tell me. Mm. No, you didn't tell me you were coming. Mm. Uh -huh, so, so, so I'm grateful to God that you are here. And I thank God for your life because of the gift and the grace that is upon your life. And that power, that anointing is here today, which will also be manifested to bless everyone. Amen. I mean, I thank God for what our dear pastor has just said here. I'm telling you, this convention will never remain the same. Amen. Next year will be greater than this Amen. year. And this year is go to be greater than last year. Amen. So that means everybody will live with another bountiful gift and blessing from heaven than last year in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, Sister Blessing, I believe Pastor Mrs. Blessing, you are blessed. Amen. That you are overflowing with blessing and Amen. bless your other people. Amen. Thank God for that powerful testimony. Amen. It was glorious. Amen. It was glorious. Amen. God who has been so faithful in your life will continually do more. Greater Amen. things are my Amen. Amen. Because the principality that stood against you has stood against many people Amen. and tried to destroy them. But God he is greater than that principality. Hallelujah. And God will not be for you. Amen. And Amen. Amen. And all those who have given testimony today, the Lord will continue to increase his anointing for all your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, under the few minutes that I have, I believe that God will do his work. Amen. God will do his work. He will perfect it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. For the church of God, winners come. Thank you that winners are here. There is no loser in this place. 
And I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ mm. that everyone that has come in under the umbrella of this fellowship today will leave this place as a winner in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. And they will continue to win in every situation of their life. Amen. Because they have victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to talk about the amazing grace. It has come only through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, we bless your name. Amen. We worship you, Lord, for the host and the companion of this convention. That Lord will continually honor him Amen. and honor his wife, honor his children, yeah. honor his ministry. Yeah. Your yeah. Presence, Father, let there be fullness of joy in his life. Amen. That smile will put on his face. Amen. That glory will never diminish. Amen. He will go on from glory to glory, Amen. from joy to joy, Amen. from victory to victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The oil of anointing. The anointing that breaks every yoke will never be broken. Thank God. And thanks to the old cross of heaven that are here, present to back up all the word of the Lord. And to support the Lord. Thank you, Father, for answer prayer. Thank you, Lord. Testimony we have come to the praise and glory and honor of your name, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 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 Of this convention, sixth annual convention. I want to start by defining what grace is. Mm. Many people have come had the common definition of grace, yeah. which is I still approve. It has a depth in the person God ever used to talk about that definition. God's riches at Christ's expense. Many of us have believed we've heard that before. Yes. When I think about it, I saw that amazing grace can only be defined in the Lord Jesus Christ. If it is God's riches and Christ's expense, remember that that expense cost Jesus Christ himself his own life. Another definition that I have checked through is to see Amazing grace as an unmerited favor. A favor that is bestowed on you, but is completely unmerited. Another one that I saw is unconditional love. Another unconditional love is what is called after pain love. A love that only God can be the source and only God can actually fulfill it. Hallelujah. After pain love, the word agape in Greek. It is actually a Greek Christian term referred to as love. But that love is not an ordinary love. It's not the kind of love we talk about in this world. Far bigger, no. far higher. No. It is a universal no. love that can only come from no. love. No. It is an unconditional no. love that transcends no. and passes no. regardless of the no. circumstances. No. And our no. amazing no. grace no. that we are no. is an unending agape love. Amen? I say it's an unending agape love. If it's an unending agape love, let me tell you, even the kind of marriages we have in this world, I'm a born again Christian under a new covenant with the Lord Jesus Christ. I have been married now for 32 years, and in all that I've been through, I know that the love that I experienced in my marriage is totally different from this agape love I'm telling you about. Because this is an unending love. God's love that abides forever. Somebody say amen to that. Amen. No wonder. The Bible teaches us that God himself is love. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 8. My name is the book of Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Many of us who came here today would know about Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. Just about the salvation that comes to one man. For by grace we are saved through faith. Somebody say amen. Amen. For by grace we are saved through what? Faith. Through faith. And that faith is not even of yourself. It is a gift from God. Not of works. The Bible teaches us lest any man should boast. For by grace you have been saved amen. through faith. The Amplified Bible in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8, defines this grace as this. I want to listen to the explanation 
of Africa Bible. He says, For it is by grace. This is the way, only way I can confirm him. Amazing is grace is true. For it is by grace, God's remarkable compassion and favor drawing you to Christ that you have been saved. Actually delivered from judgment and giving eternal life through faith. And this salvation is not of yourself, not through your own effort, but it is the undeserved, gracious gift of God. I want everybody to know here tonight that we do not deserve this grace we are talking about. None of us deserve it. I don't deserve it. Mm. Apostle Paul, who wrote about this amazing grace, actually said it and made it very clear that he was the totally unqualified among all the apostles. Oh, yes. God comforted him but each of us here today is by the grace of God that we are alive. Yes. It is by the grace of God that we are here, and it is by the grace of God that we will be here to God. Yes. Yes. This is the unconditional grace of the Almighty God that brought Jesus down from heaven. Yes. 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 Jesus came down for you and me. Yes. 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 I want to establish something tonight. In this amazing grace, there is this story I learned of, which some of us here, I believe, have heard about. When we talk about amazing grace, we talk about that hymn, that hymn, Amazing Grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was, I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I'm found. We know about this amazing grace before we leave this place. Yeah. This hymn was written by John Newton in 1778, but it was actually published in 1769. And John Newton, is someone, a white man who was involved in slave trade. He has lived his life trading human beings. What things that we can ever talk about? If Apostle Paul was talking about him as the, the, the worst of all sinners, I tell you, John Newton saw himself as the worst of the worst of all sinners. No, 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 no. When God opened his eyes and he saw the wicked, some of us have now seen the theme of, of, of God's You can see the wickedness which has already been deep to another human being. But can I tell you this? God's amazing grace is that God John Newton was the one who was able to see the wickedness of God's people. He was able to see the wickedness of God's people. He was able to see the wickedness of God's people. He was able to see the wickedness of God's people. He was able to see the wickedness of God's people. He was able to see the wickedness of God's people. Hallelujah. I want to tell you this. Salvation is the greatest that can ever happen to any human being. As I sat here tonight, I said, Lord, you brought me here. There is something you're going to do for everyone that has come here tonight. And you're not going to leave this place without your blessing. And that is in the book of 3 John, verse 2. If we are talking about amazing grace, amazing grace should do something that is beyond your capacity. Something that you know you should have been completely written on. None of us is qualified for the grace of God. None of us, but because of what Jesus Christ did on the cross of Calvary, God made it. Who knew God made him who knew no sin to become sin on your behalf. Then, why are you going to turn away this grace? And mercy grace is still alive and well today. Yes. I stand here as somebody who has experienced amazing grace. Oh, yes. When God led me to reach 60 years of age in this world, and who came to celebrate? Do you know my wife, my, my children, and them, inclusive of my foster children, all are ranging and making sure that a book was published in 1978. Mm. With my brother, who is seated here today. Hallelujah. And then, a lot of testimony was taken from many people when I later sat down and I started reading the testimony of what people said about me. So I said I lived my life 60 years in this world and it was not a waste. When I was reading what people wrote, I mean, all I can say is amazing grace. Hallelujah! Amazing grace. Hallelujah. People are writing this about me. I was even saying, showing it to God as if God has not seen it. I said, <laughs> Lord, uh, uh, I believe you've read this. Is this true about me? Mm. Brethren, I want to tell you there's something called amazing grace. Yes, sir. If God can save me, he will save you. Amen. 
If God can deliver me, He will deliver you. If God can rescue me, He will rescue you. I can assure you that salvation is the greatest prize everybody can receive in this world. Salvation of your soul. That you know in your knowing that your name is written in the book of life and you are saved by grace. When I go to third John verse 2, and the Bible says that it is God's will, it is God's desire that we prosper and be in health, even as our soul prospers. Then I understood what God told me when I sat down there. That if your soul prospers, then every other thing about your life will prosper. Amen. This is amazing grace. Let's get our soul sorted out with God first and for all, so that your coming to this world will never be in vain. Amen. Are you in a covenant relationship with the Almighty God? Have you been restored back to God? The Bible says His name shall be called Jesus, for He will restore His, he will restore his people and deliver them from their sin. That's why Jesus' name is called Jesus. Amen. Have you been saved by grace? Has your sins been forgiven? Has the blood of Jesus Christ washed your sins away? Do you have the witness of the Holy Spirit in the inside of you that you are a child of God? I stand here today because I have the witness. So I wish I could happy that you prosper and be in hell, even as your soul prospers. Amen. I stand here today to say, by the grace of God, my soul is prospering. My soul is prospering. Why? Because I'm saved by grace. I am in covenant relationship with the living God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Are you in that kind of covenant relationship? If you are not, tonight, settle with God before you leave this place. Because if God saved your soul, I can assure you, all these other things will follow. Amen. So that's why I thank God when the Holy Spirit was finishing to me that how do you think I allow Evangelist David Akri to be with you tonight? Mm -hmm. Because God gave him a special gift of healing. And I say, if God has sorted us out spiritually and we are saved by grace, look, nobody should live with any kind of sickness or disease. If they have diagnosed you with a, a disease or sickness, don't go out of this place with that sickness or disease. I say by the word of the Lord, it has to, it has to die here. Yes. Yes. Because once your covenant relationship with God is sorted out by salvation, can I guarantee you that any of that thing that has to do with sickness or disease, or this is what we have inherited in our family, the word of God has cancelled it. Jesus yeah. paid the price. Oh, yes. If you are saved by grace, get the package of your health. Divine health is the portion of all believers, all born again children of God. All those whose names are written in the book of life. Divine health is our portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will never die of sickness. Amen. You will never die of any illness. Amen. The Lord will remove sicknesses and diseases far from you. Amen. Amen. Oh, so let's be sure that your soul is saved by grace. No sickness can no resistance. And if anybody ever say, oh, this is what we inherited in our family, tonight, stop that statement. Don't say it again. The Lord will remove it. Amen. I'm a witness. Evangelist is a witness. Pastor Enoch is a witness. There is no sickness we inherit in your family that can stand. It's God. And you know what? The third phase of it. If the Bible says, I wish I go wanted that you prosper and be in there, even as your soul prosper. Then, remember, God wants prosperity for you in all areas of your life. Hallelujah. I thank God for Pastor Enoch here. Financially, I don't think, I'm saying it on his behalf right now, I don't think there's anyone you will lay hand upon concerning financial difficulty that God will not come and resolve it from them. He's anointed to do that. Hallelujah. I've seen it. It's, it's a complete package that God has brought to us through our Lord Jesus Christ. If you have a financial problem and you are in debt, don't leave this place without just a touch from God. God will take care of your financial difficulties in the name of Jesus. Amen. So that's why God John verse 2 says, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in hell, even as your soul prospers. You will prosper in every area in the name of Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm given 20 minutes now. The first 10 minutes is gone. And in the next five minutes, I will be calling Pastor Apolabi and the family to come out so that I can be prayed for. I'm given 20 minutes. 10 minutes is gone right now as I'm looking at the time. So in my next five minutes, I will pray for Pastor Apolabi and his wife and the children. So I hope uh, Pastor Apolabi will come forward with the wife and the children and then after that I will pray for all the guests 
as artists that have come here tonight, we just want to lift you up in prayer, support you that as you have supported the man of God and this ministry, God will also support you. Amen. You will live with testimony. Amen. There's something that has always drawn me to Pastor Folabi, and I've said it tonight, I'm saying it again. When I see a smile on his face, I saw that smile that is not an ordinary smile. You know, whatever Pastor Afolabi is passing through, you can never know by, him, by looking at his face. You can never know. There is a joy. That's what I call the joy of salvation, the joy in the Holy Ghost. When that smile comes, it beams out, the anointing of the Lord follows it. So that's why I thank God for his life. If you have come to support him, joy will never lack in your family, in your household, on everything you lay your hands upon to do, in the name of Jesus. The Lord will give you overflowing joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, Pastor Folabi, are you ready? Please. With your wife and children? Please, let's clap for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Evangelist Billy, Pastor Eno, let's surround them. Oh, because we have rented the place. Next year, by the grace of God, we should always profess that God will take you into a higher dimension in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God. God is already raising people. Look at somebody who said, uh, by, by next year, make sure two months before the time, please, the Lord will do greater things than this year in Jesus' name. Uh, just to announce to everybody, they said the toilet that they have here is going to be short by 8.30 on the dot. Even toilets. I don't know, do we have to pay for toilet to use toilet again? Anyway, for your information, if anybody needs to use toilet, if you are traveling far, please go and line up with the toilet and use the toilet now. Because by 8.30, they said the toilet will be short. And nobody will have access to the toilet. So, thank God, it's not 8.30, so we have 15 minutes more. So, please, one by one, you need to use the toilet. Use the toilet before you go. Don't go and plan to use one Maduro toilet on the way. But if you need to use this one here, please, Use the toilet before uh, before we enter into final prayer. <laughs> God bless you all. Amen. Okay, please let's stretch our hands. Those of us who are here, stretch your hand towards the Apollabi family. Yes, stretch your hands, and as you stretch your hand, please bless them in the name of the Lord. Pastor, please let's bless them. Let's release glory upon their life in the name of Jesus. God is a faithful God. Yes. We we'll approve any negativity in this family. Anything the enemy has planted is uprooted in the name of Jesus. Because whatever my father in heaven has not planted in you shall be uprooted. To the root, completely rooted out, they will become dry. And if, as they become dry, they will be born with the fire of the Lord in Jesus' name. Our God is a consuming fire. Any sickness, any disease, any financial difficulty, any other kind of attack on the enemy, on this family, we say they are rooted out now in the name of Jesus. By the word of the Lord, you will testify. The word of the Lord is sent forth as you have believed with all your heart and you have opened your mouth and you have declared it. Psalm 107, verse 20, he sent forth his word. His God healed them and delivered them from all their destruction. The word of the Lord has come to you and deliver you from all your destructions. Spiritually, you are free. Financially, you are free. In your head, you are free. Go in that anointing and let everything go be broken, completely destroyed. In Jesus. And our vision will not rise the second time. In the name of Jesus. Go in that power and be blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. The fresh anointing, the fresh anointing, the fresh anointing. In the name of Jesus, the fresh anointing. 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 You have sung, you have, you have prayed, you have done one thing or the other here to support the man of God. And you need this blessing. The man of God has been blessed. The overflowing anointing must touch your life. Those who gave testimony, 
let them come out. Every one of you, come out by the grace of God. We just want to release this anointing on your life to support you. That God, who is a faithful God, who is keeping this ministry going, will also keep your own life, your own calling, your spiritual calling, your financial calling, your marital calling, your academic calling, and your business calling. Anything you know you're not about to do shall prosper in the name of Jesus. And especially those of you who have ministry, your ministry will prosper in the name of Jesus. If you need that kind of touch from heaven, please come out. Let's identify with you. Just support you. Remember that what two or three of us shall agree as touching anything here on the face of the earth. It shall be done for us by our Heavenly Father in heaven. So that by next year confession, you will have testimony. Please, those who want to come out, let's come out quickly. Our time is limited. Hallelujah. Yes. Please, as you come out, you are looking unto God. Please, let's just touch them. Let's touch them. That's the touch of Jesus upon your life. Go and prosper for Jesus. Go and prosper for the kingdom of God. Go and prosper for the kingdom. Go and prosper for the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, no one that stands up against you will be able to stand. They will fall down for your sake. In the name of Jesus, the Lord who has called you will prosper you. We continue to lift your head up above all your enemies. Run around you in the name of Jesus. Testimony will follow to the presence and glory of the name of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Receive that touch and go in that faith in Jesus' name. Receive that touch and go in that faith in the name of Jesus. Go in that God, in the name of the Spirit of the Lord bless you. We not enter your life in Jesus' name. We pray. Thank you, Jesus. In the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is my final charge. Against next year, that in Jesus' parents, God will give every one of us their testimonies. Amen. I want the bigger amen. Amen. I want to remind the people of God. One of our children came out here and quoted this passage. I already have it here in Titus chapter 2, verses 11 to 14. And I want to just use that to round up a final charge to everyone here. The amazing grace that brings salvation has already been revealed to all men. I want you to know that God has spoken to you before you came here. Some of you will remember that God has spoken to you because I said it now. That amazing grace is available for you to conquer and to win in every situation. You can never be defeated. Always remember greater is always in you than it that is against you. We are leaving this place as we well, get the more and more and so for the in Jesus' name. Amen. Man of God, not that word. Because no one will be defeated by the enemy. For next you saw yes, you. God bless you. Yes. God keep you until the best time we meet in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. For Jesus, give me clap, clap, clap. Please give me clap, 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 Glory to God. Yes. Glory. Yes. That one was awesome. Was Amen. Amen. How many of us are blessed by his word? Let me see your right hand Glory to God. That one which you have received tonight will be permanent with you in Jesus' mighty name. Let's open the door. 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 Okay. Hallelujah, it is offering time. Offering time. Offering time. Blessing time. Let me bring out our offering. Whatever God has laid in your heart to be a blessing to this program or to be a blessing to this great ministry. Please usher two bosses in the front. Usher two bosses, one here, one here, please. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are we ready? Amen. Hallelujah. So after we do our offering, then we wake up. I'll come in the house of Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Praise God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, let's stand on our feet with our offering. Hallelujah. Come here.
Please, you dance forward, rejoice, smile on your face as you drop your offering. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's give it all to God. Let's keep pray over it. Please, prophet, Samson, come and bless the offering of our hands, please. Please come and pray over the offering. After the prayer, then we welcome uh, prophetess Allah to give us a song. And after the offering time, then we will call on our Dr. Esau to give us a speech. Hallelujah. Let's raise it up to God. Why prophet Samson will bless it for us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Can we just please raise it up? Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name because you are a good God. We brought it out because we know when we are rest assured that we are going to replenish our pockets in this hundred food. Amen. Let this be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the church. Let your blessing continue to reign upon this church. Amen. As we have come, People might not take it seriously, but I know mm. what the Lord has done here is shall be permanent in this earth. That sickness that has been taken away is shall be permanent in this earth. They are missing grace that all the men of God has actually shared with you. It shall be permanent in your life. Amen. And we will never remain the same. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Prophet says, Allah, please come forward. Under two minutes, we do our offering. Dance forward. Drop your offering with joy. Prophet says, Allah, please, two minutes, we are done. Then we can wake up the speech. Our Father, let's go. Amen. Allah, I want to sing everyone. Including speech,
Jesus. Amen.